Hey there, you might be wondering, I haven't uploaded a video in a while, except maybe for the Galatia one. Uh, various reasons for that. The first is that I had a job in the meantime, and I fulfilled the contract by now. So I still had time to play games, but I was mostly playing games like Harvest Moon and New Beginning, Rune Factory 4, and Tokimaki Memorial 4. So I was also focusing on that, rather than working on more Let's Plays. Also, there's something wrong with the microphone in my old headset, and I had to buy a new one, so you can probably hear that the audio is a bit different, so I still have to fiddle with that a bit, see how that goes. And also, I have been busy off-screen in the background doing some things, but overall, nothing has worked up to now. For example, the Root Monica videos, I still have to upload one where I defeat the Destroyer, with my party in hard mode, or its hard version, if you will. But I have yet to do that, although I have attempted it like close to 20 times up to now, and I just keep getting killed. Double Survivor 2 Let's Play is not cancelled. It's just that one thing I'm doing is I'm trying to re-record the Megaz battle, which I originally accidentally deleted before uploading it. And it is going to be in New Game Plus, so it's going to be different from the New Game version that it originally was. But overall, I am going to point out the easiness that the battle actually was for me originally. And I'm even going to try to get the same Personae, Demons, whatever they were called in that game, as I did originally. Romancing Saga 3, I still have to finish up Root Monica, Devil Survivor 2. What about... Uh, Oracle of Ages. Eh, pretty much cancelled. The thing with me is, for me, a Zelda game has to have a good sense of balance. It has to be balanced between fighting, puzzle solving, and going around in dungeons. The Oracle games focus a lot on fighting in seasons and puzzles and ages, which is not well balanced for me. It makes the gameplay very monotonous when I'm just doing the same thing over and over and over to proceed. Especially bad for me in Oracles of Ages, with the bosses, when I have spent an entire dungeon solving puzzles to get to the boss, I can't defeat the boss just by hitting him, I have to solve a puzzle while doing so. Kind of annoying, and really it just shows how monotonous the game is. Not that I think that the Oracle games are bad in per se, it's just they're pretty monotonous and not what I personally expect from a Zelda game. What happened to my Hotful Boyfriend videos? Yes, Hotful Boyfriend. I deleted them. Uh, overall, it has to do with that I felt like the entire quality of the videos was not very good. The video quality of the of them was not very good. I didn't feel like the commentary was all that good. And, well, I would like to give you new videos of Hotful Boyfriend, but the game seems to have a problem under Windows 7 if you run it there. If you try to open the options menu, the game crashes, so you can't change anything in the options. Which I would very much like to do. I would like to, like, bold the text so it's easier for you to read, but since the game crashes, I can't do that. And I really would like to make a video on the Bad Boys Love Room, because I think it's a really awesome part of the game. It's a very fun, but also creepy series, and... Sure, some parts of it are pretty obvious on what was going on, but it was still overall pretty fun, and especially the Scarecrow, oh my god. Anyway, uh, one last little favor, if you want to call it that, that I want to ask you of before I finish this video. Stop putting just negative comments on my Danganronpa videos. If you want to say, well, your video was shit, so I had to be absolutely negative about it. Well, if you thought I was too negative or complaining about the game, stop the video and watch somebody else's Let's Play. I'm sure there are dozens of people who have played the game and actually praised it instead of what I did. And quite honestly, the reason why I was so tough on the game and was constantly complaining about it is because I did a mistake. I went into the game 
after hearing people praising it and swooning about it, saying that the story is awesome, the characters are interesting, and the mystery is really good, keeping you, like, guessing the entire way through. Which, yes, I did the mistake, and I listened to that, and I allowed my expectations to be really raised, and then the game just disappointed me because I didn't feel like the characters were all that interesting, even when I spent free time around getting their backstory. The mysteries were not that well hidden. In fact, it was pretty easy to figure out the murderers in majority of the cases anyway. And yeah, I was just very disappointed with the game and it just made me realize, yeah, the game isn't as great as I heard people say. I will admit, of course, that that is my fault. That is my fault because I allowed my expectations to be raised and I really shouldn't have done that. Other problem is that I finished the entire Let's Play in like a week or two, so I had a lot of exposure to the game over a very short amount of time, coupled with the disappointment I felt while playing the game that really made me lose my patience with the game much faster than I originally would have, especially if I had like taken more downtime. The thing was that I recorded a video for the Let's Play, then I took a break for a few hours, and then I generally began the next video. So lots of exposure, coupled with disappointment, I was very, very short with the game, and there was lots of talking. So those are the two main reasons why my Danganronpa Let's Play is kind of, yeah, pretty negative. But, like I said, if you don't like the way my video goes on that or on any of my other videos, stop the video and watch something else. I hope everybody had a nice New Year's! New Year